everyone, it's Vanessa coming at you with another video. In this video, we're going to test out the best selling Skims items. Okay, I've been hearing about Skims all over the internet, all over my Instagram, all over TikTok. I want to put this stuff to the test to see what all the hype is about, okay? Okay, I got pretty much most of their best selling items. I wasn't able to get every single thing just because a couple things were sold out, but I did get a couple things, about seven items. So let's start digging into this box. Overall, so far, presentation for the box is actually pretty nice. A lot of these things apparently are, I want to say compostable because this is probably like the first time I've ever seen that like items like this are in, in kind of reusable packaging in this way. So I do appreciate the fact that she is... Uh, going the extra mile to make things a little bit more recyclable and eco-friendly. Um, so yeah, this is compostable. It's made from plants, biodegradable in um, your home compost and in industrial compost facilities. That's actually pretty cool. It has all the information in the back right there. So that's actually a really nice addition. At least you know that the items that you're purchasing, the packaging that it's coming in is eco-friendly. The first item that I have is going to be this cotton plunge bralette. I am in the market for bras, y'all. I have some very old ones because I don't really got nothing up here, okay? So um, for me to get bras, I just want some basic stuff, neutral colors, something comfortable that I, you know, doesn't feel like I'm wearing a freaking bra all day long. So I figured I'd give some of this stuff a go. This is the Cotton Plunge Bralette. The color is supposed to be light heather gray. I'm not really sure if it's really coming off like that, but yeah, it, it is a light heather gray. It feels pretty good so far. This is a size medium, and I pretty much chose my sizes based off of the size chart that they recommend um, on the Skims website for every single item. So just FYI, I'll also leave my measurements in the description box down below for y'all. This retailed for $36, and so far it just seems like a basic cotton plunge bra. You know, it has the Skims logo here um, and pretty nice details. It seems like it, it is pretty well constructed overall, so no complaints. Um, this doesn't have padding on it. It's kind of meant for like lounging and things like that. So overall, not too shabby, but also not really sure if this is worth $36. I don't have a huge chest, so in terms of bras, like I, I don't know, I don't really need super expensive bras for what I have and what I'm working with. And I do like the details in terms of how they put the logo and all of the branding. It's very, again, eco-friendly. These are nice touches that not all brands do. So I am wearing a tank top over this cotton plunge bra because honestly, y'all, I don't even want to show it. It doesn't look cute, okay? I always have issues with bras in general because I have a very wide rib cage but a very small bust. And then I have wide lats and fat on my body. So obviously I spill out a lot more than, I guess, Kim Kardashian. This isn't cute. This is a uh, medium. And the band is very, not tight, I'm on the last little hook of the, like, the hook closure. So it's pretty fitted. Um, I would say, yes, the band is supportive if you need that. But the plunge, I just don't fit in the plunge. And then I'm spilling out on the side right here. So I am not feeling very confident in this bralette. And overall, I am not a fan of this particular style. It's pretty comfortable. If it wasn't this kind of like, I don't know, silhouette. Maybe if it was like a different type of bra, then maybe I would like it more, but this is this is not doing it for me, and honestly, I would not go with this one. The next item that we have here is the Fits Everybody Scoop Neck Bra. This isn't a very large scoop, as you can tell. It's a pretty light scoop, but there are some things that are pretty like a, a very deep scoop plunging bra. This isn't necessarily it. So I think this is going to have some pretty decent coverage. Again, this is the Fits Everybody line. So it's that very stretchy, soft fabric, which is nice. It does feel like it's going to feel comfortable on the skin. This is the color Onyx, and this is a size medium. Um, on the site, this retails for 32 which again, I didn't think was too unreasonable for undergarments overall, especially because I feel like uh, uh, there are other places that have things like this a little bit more uh, on the expensive side, and this is pretty reasonable. No padding on any of this fits everybody type of material, so it's just kind of like a basic bra with very, very light support. Um, overall, this is something I feel like I would probably wear 
as a lounging item just because again I not very supportive so if you are bust here and have a larger bust than I do you're probably gonna need a little bit more support if you need stuff but this is definitely something you could lounge in it doesn't feel super uncomfortable the straps in the back have adjustable uh, straps here so that way you can adjust it to and customize your fit which is nice okay so this is the fits everybody scoop deck bra this is basically how I wanted to wear it kind of with an overshirt you know just some shorts or something underneath um I wouldn't and I don't necessarily feel super comfortable like wearing this just like out here and about it is very comfortable overall I'm liking the fits everybody material better than the cotton plunge material I feel like this particular silhouette just flatters my um, bust a little better. It doesn't feel super, super tight, but it does feel pretty snug in the kind of band area. So I honestly feel like maybe I could have sized up to a large and it would have been a little bit more comfortable of a fit. This is a medium and it's, you know, very comfortable material. You can definitely tell it's very stretchy. So yeah, this is kind of like how I would wear it. Um, or at least the idea that I had to wear it. So basically, it's just kind of like a little, you know, piece right there where it, you're not like completely showing your bra, but it is a bra, but it just feels like a loungy sports bra. I feel like that's kind of what I would say this is, and this is kind of like how I have it, and this is how it looks in the back for y'all. Overall, I feel like it's pretty comfortable, and I actually like that it has um, a lot of stretchiness in this area. It doesn't feel like, how could I say this? It doesn't feel like it doesn't fit in the bust, which is nice because it doesn't have cups or anything like that. So overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this fits everybody, and I feel like I could wear this underneath like shirts and things like that not too shabby but how much was this scoop neck was 32 dollars which i probably could find something pretty comparable somewhere else but it's actually not too bad i don't know 32 dollars this is the fits everybody bandeau bra um honestly i don't really see anything too crazy special about this it just seems like one whole Kind of like strip of cloth um pretty much sewed together here and here uh pretty simple i want to say a nice probably addition like a simple basic i thought it was pretty reasonable for the price it's 28 dollars. this is a size large and i got it in the size large because i did hear that this technically kind of runs a bit small and because of the fact that i have a wider rib cage and a smaller bus i don't need too much support so i didn't really need it to dig into me not necessarily using it for the support aspect but more for just like the kind of basic have you know having a basic bandeau it does have the skims branding on the inside which is nice it's like um screen printed on so that way you have all of the care facts as well as just the logo and the sizing which is pretty nice um they could have went with I guess maybe like um, a ghost kind of screen print instead of having it being so um, out there with the, with the white. But at the same time, I mean, if you have it on, no one's really going to notice. Um, overall, the fabric is pretty soft and, you know, very, very stretchy, which I think is like the whole fits everybody line. But um, overall, I'm not really sure what the hype is about for this <laughs> yet, I guess. Um, we'll see when it when, once I try it on. And no, again, this doesn't have any padding in it. It's just a strip of cloth, so... Keep that in mind. Okay, so this is the bandeau, or bandeau top. This is the large, and it definitely, in the band, at least at least in the bottom band, feels or fits way better. And this is basically how I would personally wear it or purchase this to wear it with, so kind of like a summer thing. And honestly, like, I don't have a very large bust, but I keep having to pull this up, and I don't know, I think there's just something with bandeaus in general. I think it should be fine, but obviously if you're doing any high impact activity, that's not the bra for this. I do feel like it's not super supportive, but most bandeau bras aren't very supportive in general. But overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. So definitely if you're around my bust size, I would go with a large, but this is basically how it looks on. And it's pretty comfortable. I like the material. Not too bad. Okay, now, the things that I'm actually really excited for are going to be the Skim Sculpting line. It is her shapewear line. And this is the packaging for the, the, the sculpting line in general. It's a, a very different 
than the fits everybody uh, line. So this is actually in like cardboard boxes and has a lot of the information here as well. There's like embossing it on the packaging. So this is more expensive, but it also definitely feels like it's more of a substantial item. So you can see the color of what you have right here, so which is nice. This is going to be the sculpting bodysuit with the mid-thigh and open gusset. Now, um, again, everyone holds this up and it looks like a very tiny um, thing. It looks kind of very, very weird, uh, honestly. Yeah, now that I'm looking at it, okay, I understand why people freak out when they hold this thing. And then when you see how small it is compared to the actual person, and then when they can get it in here, you're just like, dang, okay, that no wonder you're snatched. But this feels very, very substantial. It feels very well made. Overall, I'm pretty impressed, okay? This is the color ochre. Uh, this is a size small medium, so SM. And the one that I wanted, which was the thong version, wasn't in stock. It was completely sold out. So I had to go with this, which I don't mind either. The price for this item was $68, which I think is honestly very comparable to some of the other like, shapewear that you have out there and some of the most popular brands like Spanx. So honestly, I think it's around that price range. Overall, when I'm like feeling it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It honestly feels very soft. And it has kind of like a, not a fleece lining, but like a soft brushed lining on the inside, which is nice. And I feel like we'll feel pretty comfortable overall. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I think this is going to be pretty nice. Um, it does have the open gusset because if you know, if you ever wear shapewear that's like full shapewear, that's not like a thong or like a snap closure, you definitely know that it is difficult to take this stuff on and off so you need to have an opening like this so that you can use the bathroom because otherwise um, you're gonna be naked in the stall a lot. It has like the little area for your butt um, which is, it looks crazy right now. Like it, I don't, I really don't understand how people squeeze into this but we're gonna see how this fits. <laughs> Putting on that sculpting bodysuit with the thigh is um, a workout in itself. Okay, I have it on and I'm not sure if I like it, um, so I literally just broke a sweat um, trying this bodysuit on. I'll do a little turn for y'all, and um, it looks okay. Um, obviously, it is kind of snatching that waist, which is nice, and I feel a lot of the zone compressions, but it is cutting off the circulation to my thigh, and um, it was very, very difficult to put on, like so much so, especially like over the hips that at some point I felt like giving up. <laughs> so just FYI, um, I'm gonna try this on with the lounge, what is it, type to body type of stuff. Um, I don't hate this, but it was a little bit way too difficult to put on for my particular uh, needs, like to the point where it made me feel like I didn't wanna put it on at all. Um, I would wanna try the medium large to see how that goes, but I don't know if it won't snatch as much. Um, because technically this is the size I should be getting um, based off of my measurements but I don't know y'all so I'm not sure how the thong of this would fit but the thighs are really just not doing it for me it is really cutting those thighs um, to the point where it's pretty uncomfortable this is the soft lounge long slip dress this one went very very viral so I decided I need to give this a go I love a maxi dress and anything super comfortable, so I figured I'd give this one a try and a true test. It is pretty pricey for what it is. It's $78. I want to say this is one of the most expensive items in this haul, other than like one of the sculpting items, which, you know, honestly, shapewear is pretty pricey. I'm not surprised about that, but this one, I'm a little shocked at. So this is the soft lounge slip dress. Overall, it does feel like it is very well constructed. At first, I was very skeptical when I bought this. $78, you better feel like $78 worth of cloth, okay? <laughs> this one is in the color Onyx and a size medium. So according to the size chart, that is what I went with. Again, pretty basic tags on here. It's very, very simple, compostable, eco-friendly, which is nice. And then I like that in here, the, the tags, or at least the care instructions and everything, are pretty um, small and not like super long, which is nice. I am holding this up to my light and I can see right through it. 
So in terms of sheerness, um, it seems like it's not really that opaque, which is a little concerning um, considering that it is $78, but sometimes I've noticed that even though when I'm holding it up to the light, it's super sheer. Uh, once you have it on, it doesn't necessarily have that sheerness, but again, we will see once we actually put this baby on. No built-in bras or anything like that. There's no built-in slit. We'll see how sheer it is. Um, honestly, I think it's just more of a lounge piece, kind of like to hang around the house. But a lot of people are wearing it out and there are a couple dupes on Amazon as well. So now that I know what it feels like, it's going to be interesting to compare those. This is the slip and it's honestly very, very nice. But again, I don't know if it's worth $78, especially with all the dupes that are out there. I like it, but if you don't have shapewear on underneath this, you're going to see every nook and cranny. Like you can even tell that I have shapewear on right now. Like I don't know if y'all can see like the indent of my thigh, but um... It's nice, like I think it's very comfortable and I think it's a very nice like casual basic piece. Very, very long as you can tell, like I'm only 5'5", five five, but it's it's hitting the floor. I think if you're shorter than me, this is going to be one of those things where you might have to alter because otherwise it is going to hit the ground pretty much in drag. But it's, it's very nice, because obviously with this particular style of shapewear, you could definitely see that I'm wearing something underneath. You know, that's kind of a shame, but overall, it's it's very, very nice. It's very form-fitting. I just don't know how I would particularly wear this. If you don't have the problem where you have, like, areas of concern, then obviously wear it. It's, it's definitely cute. It's a ribbed material, so it's ribbed. It's not, like, one type of slick fabric. It's uh, ribbed all the way down, so... Overall, the shapewear is doing what it needs to be doing, which is nice, and, it, and after you have it on, it feels a little bit more comfortable, but just the process of getting it on was literally me breaking a sweat, and that's just, it's just too much. I do like that the shapewear isn't flattening out the glutes, because there is shapewear that does that, that like kind of like has it where it'll flatten it out a lot, and this is like basically creating kind of like like a halo type of thing around it so it doesn't have zone compression in the glutes but around it it does so it kind of makes it seem like they're really perky and it perks them up which is really nice and I'm actually pretty impressed with this slip but I personally just don't think I would wear this for 78 <laughs> next one that we have is the sculpting short mid thigh with open gusset again another one of her best sellers this one isn't a full bodysuit, which sometimes I don't really like just because I've noticed in other things like this where it's just kind of like the the bottom part that you're supposed to be sculpting. The This top piece for me has always rolled down and that's why I never really liked shorts or any type of like um, underwear compression thing that's just for like your tummy area. Um, so I've always been a very big skeptic about that just because I've had bad experiences with other brands, but this is supposed to be good. It has a, a very sticky type of um, material right here at the top, not gummy material, but it's definitely sticky. So it's supposed to adhere to that top rib part of you right below where your bra is so that it doesn't slip and roll down. We're going to put that to the test because if it rolls down, this is no good for me, okay? What's the point of that? You ain't sculpting and smoothing nothing if you're rolling and creating rolls. Like, no. Um, this has an open gusset. I believe this color is clay. Which I'm pretty fair right now, just in general, and I think this is probably the closest to my skin tone in terms of if you want to have something that's a skin tone color. So if you're around my complexion, clay is about where, you know, to be the safest bet in terms of your skin tone. Um, ochre was just a little bit uh, more tan for me so obviously i'm not i'm very pale yeah i'm very pale <laughs> this one priced for 34 dollars which in my opinion i think is pretty reasonable because there are other brands that are way more expensive than this and again i think this is very well constructed so far i've been pretty impressed in terms of how things feel and look quality wise um but obviously what we are going to be testing out is function and whether or not it's actually going to work for what we need it for okay last but not least we have the sculpting bralette again in this really nice packaging the sculpting bralette that i got was in the color clay the size sm small medium based off of the sizing chart on her website and this was 32 dollars 
So not too bad um, for what it for what we're getting. Again, this is the sculpting line, which in my opinion I think is her more um, expensive line in terms of skims. And then this is the sculpting bralettes. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so this is not what I expected it to be. This is very, I don't know, this is very small. <laughs> uh, but I guess, yeah, small medium, so that's pretty accurate. And it has the, the like, little silicone kind of, like, sticky strip all around, which I did not expect from this, so that's pretty interesting. Honestly, I think this would probably be good for matching with the, the like, short bottom. So this would be kind of like a matching set, in a, in a sense, if you wanted to wear more of a two-piece type of situation versus, like, a full-on piece. Honestly, this one kind of shocked me, and I was not expecting it uh, to, to be this kind of small. It's in the color clay, which, again, is pretty close to my skin tone right now, because your girl is hella pale. No padding in any of these things. It is basically just kind of like that second layer, and it has scrunching right here so hopefully it'll provide some sort of like sculpting and kind of like bringing in the girls type of situation okay so I had to put on clothing on um because otherwise this is gonna be looking crazy I don't know how people are showing these things because they're pretty sheer so anyways I'm not trying to get demonetized I have the sculpting bra on and I have the sculpting shorts and this is the reason why I absolutely hate anything that's shapewear that's not like a full body connected suit because look at what it's doing this is rolling up right here it's rolling up and then this is rolling down so um <laughs> it, it just defeats the purpose of shapewear in my opinion especially if your problem area is your midsection and even if it's not it's gonna push out stuff so overall very difficult to put on this short um this is this sm and maybe i need to try the medium large but according to the sizing chart this is what i should be wearing the sculpting bralette isn't too bad if this is what you want to do but i don't need this at least for me and the solutions that i personally need this is not it like it's it's all rolling down like completely everywhere the whole little sticky thing that's supposed to keep it up is not keeping it up and i'm like tugging and pulling and everything and it just keeps rolling down so yeah i am not a fan of either the sculpting bralette or the short so that is a huge pass for me and i don't think it's worth it okay so in conclusion <laughs> I actually left very, very disappointed. Um, and I really wanted to like the skim stuff because I'm into shapewear and I have some pretty expensive shapewear from Spanx, which is a, I guess, competitive brand for skims shapewear line. So I figured, you know, everyone's hyping up this skims body shapewear stuff. Let's, let's give it a go. And I really left super disappointed. <sighs> Um, I really wanted to like these things and I thought overall based off of the way they felt in my hand quality wise They seemed great, but then actually on it didn't really function for me and my body type I will say this I'm in between sizes according to the skims sizing chart So in my personal opinion if your hips or glute circumference area is larger than your waist and chest Go with your glute and hip measurements because otherwise you're not going to be able to pull this stuff up Trust me, I struggled, and at that point, I was, I gave up. I wanted to not, no, I did not enjoy the process. In the future, I may end up trying out the larger Skims shapewear stuff just so that it fits over my glutes and my hips, and maybe that way it actually works for me because it, it wasn't working, okay? <laughs> yeah, and that's really why I don't like to purchase overly hyped items just because I feel like I always end up feeling very disappointed at the end and I'm, I try to give every brand the benefit of the doubt but I'm very picky and I have certain things that need to be met and this wasn't doing it for me at the time. Biggest tip that I have for you is that if you are around my measurements and your glute and hips are larger than your waist and chest, go with the measurements that correspond to your glutes and your hips. Just trust me otherwise you're not going to get this stuff on. That is the first tip. Second of all, the every every body line or every whatever line that she has, I guess more the loungewear line. I thought it was nice and I think the quality is nice, but none of it wowed me enough to keep. If you are a fan of this stuff and it works for you, then go right ahead. But for me in particular, the things that I tried on, I think I'd pass on those as well. I do want to maybe in the future try 
the uh, shapewear again in the larger sizing and then maybe the bodysuits which I think are really big as well and very popular and I'm, I'm a bodysuit person. I like bodysuits. We will see. <laughs> okay, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful, informative, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all in the next one.